Feeder, bringing you Epic Feeder Wars. Uh, I think this is episode three. And um, let's get into the war. As you can see, it wasn't close. Uh, it was a mismatch. They did have more Town Hall 9s. But our Town Hall 9s were more developed and they didn't really get touched. I'll give them the respect and go through the bases even though they only use about half their attacks. Can't make the war close if you don't even use your attacks, guys. So, good try. Uh, they were a foreign clan. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Let's jump into the first attack from May. There's three star on their number four. Going one down from her mirror. And um, I like what she does here. She drops the queen down low. She's going to try to take out that air defense right there. So she's taking out that Luxa Collector. Then boom. She's going to get that. Uh, she's going to get that air defense with the queen. She tries to get the hogs into this other air defense. But those are level four hogs. And there's too many point defenses down there to um, for her to get that air defense. There's uh, two expos and you know three archer towers and a cannon, so she doesn't get that. That's all right. Got it pretty low on health. Just sending her heroes down there. Um, she's not doing a clan castle lure because she is using dragons, and they will take care of it. So she drops the dragons. Two lava hounds going up, soaking up those bombs. And now here come the loons. So they're coming straight up the middle. Lava Hounds are tanking. She's got more loons in the back. Probably should have dropped them maybe on the right side. That's okay. She's just going to rage. Look at this rage. Just get all of those loons in there. And there's so much going on. That was just one rage in the middle. Another rage to the right. And then she's going to drop one more rage to the left. And that's going to seal the deal and in this one. That Lava Hound... Didn't even bust. I don't know if it's gonna. But this this one's pretty much over. They just made a straight path right up the middle. And it doesn't bust at all. But it's alright. Good attack. Good three star by May. Uh, starting off the war early on on the right track. So let's keep going down the line here. To this next three star, and this is gonna be my uh, my account, Betch Junior, and I am attacking their number seven. I went down one. I'm using my king to make my funnel, guys. This is important when using dragons. You want to make a funnel so they don't just circle the base. You want to make them take out everything around them so that they go up the middle. And so I'm bringing lightnings, and I'm. Um, I know that air defense up front is going to get taken out, so I'm going to lightning out the one furthest away from my troops. So, that first air defense is down. Lightning out the other one means there's only one left, and I got loons in my uh, clan castle, so those loons are going to go right for that, that last air defense. And this one's going to be over pretty quick here. Dragons are moving kind of slow and speed it up. They didn't even fill up all their clan castles. They only put about five troops in there, making it really easy for us. You know, easier than it already was. So if you want to have a better chance of winning wars, you have to fill up those clan castles. So this one's over. I'm just cleaning up right here. I missed these builder huts on the back side. So they're going to have to backtrack. But there was a minute left on the actual time and they get there in about 10 seconds so that's no big deal um, solid three star by me uh, let's keep going down the line here and check out some more of these um, another three star attack right here by um, not that one right here by Big Zack he likes to drop these uh, mass balloon raids keep in mind what he does first Right there, checking the CC. Pulling out those five archers, even though it's only five. It is very good practice to do. Always want to lure out the clan castle. He's drawing them over to this corner. Boom, boom, boom. Clan castle's dead. Now he's going to drop his mass. Mass balloon raid right there. He drops like five balloons over there. And now look at this wall of balloons coming for these other two air defenses. There's just so many... 
Balloons, he's got three heels in the bag. Ready to take these guys out. Um, I would have probably healed that other one a little bit sooner. Kind of waited a little, little too long on that other heel. A lot of, a lot of, losing a lot of looms in the bag right there. So you want to keep those looms healed up. Look, all that uh, whole side's dead. Looms are dead. Good heel right here on the wizard tower. Um, he gets the three star, but this one's kind of close because he doesn't even use that last heel. He kind of, kind of saved it, and could have cost him if he didn't use it, but. He got it. There's a big chunk of looms on the left. He's kind of dropping those arches over there where the defenses aren't taken out. That's a bad idea. You want to drop them in the back where you know they're going to be safe. So the looms are going to go pretty slow through this, so I'm going to, clean, I'm going to speed it up. It's, uh, his troops are in cleanup mode, so there you have it. Now he's dropping the archers because he knows they're safe. He's got another heal spell left, didn't use. Probably should have used it and make it not so close, but still got the three star, so good job from Zach. And I'm going to wrap this one up with this last attack from Unseenful Being. I think he takes on number 14. Yeah, here he is. So let's break down this attack. It's a, a traditional ground. Or, uh, actually, this one's not a traditional ground. It's the next one I'm going to show you. So look, look at this base layout. Pretty bad base layout for any town hall. You don't want your clan castle way off in the corner. It's not going to benefit you at all. So just a couple troops down there, and he's going to clean up the clan castle and the clan castle troops. And there's only one air defense, and it's level one. So you guys already know what's going to happen right here. He didn't even need to drop those wall breakers to take out that level one air defense. But it's okay. And all those barbs went the wrong way. So he's going to come right here. I think he's just going to drop a dragon and then drop his balloons. And it's going to be game over. Look, one dragon, a couple, couple um, breaths from that dragon, and the air defenses goes down. Now he can start his loons. Loons go down. He's going to back him up with minions. He knew that air, Arsh Tower was um, distracted, so he knew it was... Minions were safe, and now he's just doing what he wants with this base because there's nothing there. Drops a good rage. Nothing in this base could do to stop this assault. You know, minions are just coming up from the backside on that mortar. So it's going to take one less stop for the balloons to go to. And now they're coming up on that last archer tower. So he knew the loons were going to go there next, so he might as well take them out. Good. Getting one step ahead of those loons is always the way you want to go. And now it is, they're in cleanup mode, and he just wrecked this base. Good job, Unseenful Being. Really, um, these guys are really learning fast. These air, air attacks on these bases with weak air defenses and taking full advantage. And that's what that clan needs to work on, upping those air defenses and their attack strategies for certain bases. So I'm going to wrap it up with this. Last attack, and this one is coming to you from um, Zach. The one before was from Big Zach. This is from, uh, I guess, Zach Jr. Not too sure. But he's going to lure out the archer to, um, in the clan castle with an archer. Pull him out, and he's going to make a little ring. He's going to make a ring around this uh, clan castle. Just surrounding them. Coming from all sides. Boom, they're done. Easy peasy. Now... I'm, I don't agree with these archers up top. I mean, there's nothing to defend them, really. They're kind of just picking off little things. I mean, he's going to send giants from this little bottom corner where these archers are. And he's going to get to that air defense and then deploy his two healers. So here he comes with the giants. Wall breakers backing it up. Boom, boom, healing. Got to that next set of walls here come the giants he dropped the healers kinda way away from the giants that was bad healers are just gonna get wrecked that healers served no purpose there at all should have came from behind the giants not in front of them that's a bad idea but he's got hogs in the CC and the hogs are gonna wreck this base cause they are max level hogs on this town hall 6 base and just look what's going on in the middle these defenses are just getting shredded apart 
Giants are just kind of tanking for the Hogs, and the Hogs are just kind of busting their way around the base. And his base is absolutely destroyed. Good job from Zach. A few little hiccups. That's all right. He's still working on them. I mean, these guys are just Town Hall 6s, you know, on their, uh, on their way to become great clashers. They got good, um, good help from the guys in the main clan coming down and uh, just having a little fun with the feeder and, you know, helping these guys out, helping them learn and having some fun along the way. That's all. That's what it's all about, having fun. So our feeder clan is 7-1 and one now on a roll. We're past the halfway mark to a uh, level 3 clan, which is great. Um... Got some big news coming tonight for the main clan, so stay tuned for that. Um, we are actually doing. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna save it for that and leave it at that. But um, here's episode three of Epic Feeder Wars. Hope you guys liked it. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for the next Epic Feeder War episode. Thanks for watching. See you later.